What's up, YouTube? Uh, it's Matt here. I used to do a show called Hey Guy, It's Minecraft. I don't do it anymore, but I wanted to make a video anyway of, uh, of this thing I built. I'll get to what it's called in a second here, but the reason why I'm recording this is because the update for Minecraft uh, 1.2 was just released, which means that the server that I'm playing on is likely to upgrade or update to 1.2 as well, and in doing so, there's a chance for a server wipe, which I hate, and I'll probably quit playing on the server once that happens, just because... why? Uh, but I wanted to show this off, because uh, not a whole lot of people know about it, and, well, not a whole lot of people on the server know about it, and I think it's pretty cool considering I built it all by myself and legitimately by hand without a fly mod or anything like that. So let's get right to it. It's going to be a kind of short video. Um, anyway, I call this the Bamboo Rape Shrine. I don't really know why. I figure it's like a shrine to all of the bamboo I raped uh, in making it and there's candy inside says the landlord but people people don't like the the title of it anyway so it's basically a disc above the ground right and it goes all the way around there's nothing really special and inside of it there's some water underneath, and it's pretty cool, you know. Pretty cool, pretty cool. Right, but the real cool stuff comes in when you're going underground. So there is an underground portion of this, and the entryway. I wish it would have been a little better, but you gotta do what you gotta do, right? So you come down here and you're going underground, right? There's this little light room. It's pretty sweet. Uh, you can look up into the upper level of the Bamboo Rape Shrine, or you can go out here, which is another huge area. I dug this all out, by the way, by myself, with my own tools that I mined. Um, and there is some grassy area and stuff. You know, it's all circular. Oh, and there's a creeper. What's up, creeper? I don't have uh, my <laughs> my heads up display up, so whatever. Creepers don't do damage in this uh, in this server because griefers. Um, so anyway, it's this huge area. Dug it out all by myself. Made it look nice and clean. Uh, let's go in here. This is the official lower level of the BRS. Uh, I've got a bunch of chests full of cobble out there and nothing on this side. See, I've been building this for like the last, I don't know, month or so. And I haven't actually had a chance to fill it with anything. I've just been like digging and digging and digging and putting like stuff that I need in it um, so whatever um, so we go down this way this is like the grand hall that leads to basically nothing it's pretty cool uh, the light room that we were just in on the way down is actually up there uh, just on the other side of that ceiling uh, so you go down this great hall, and then there are rooms down there, which I'll, I'll get to, but uh, just show off this, this staircase goes up to here. It's like the upper level of the underground thing. There's also like this area where there's nothing really to be. <laughs> there's nothing really on it, just some torches perfectly laid out, because that's how I do um some little intricacies like this little tiny water hole 
and the same thing on the other side straight across there uh, this was a chicken dispenser grinder farmer egg farmer thing you throw the eggs up into that hole and then they crack and then any chickens that uh, hatch from those eggs fall down into this pit and as you can see it's just some water right so they all get stuck up here and then they all lay eggs when they grow up and the eggs come down here and I'm really happy because I get lots of eggs and then I keep throwing them in there and then at some point when I need food and XP I go in here and then I kill them all anyway pretty simple I like it um, if you guys are curious about how to build it maybe I'll make a video some other time you know tree farm <clears throat> I prefer birch because it's never too low or too high to completely get all of the wood so I don't have to break through leaves or anything to get to the trunk um, and I don't have to you know build upward to get to the top part of the tree anyway so that's that uh, in here got the furnace room crafting benches and shit I've actually well, what's in here yeah some iron Ooh. nothing really special another room just my storage room uh, the server has like protection capabilities but I chose not to protect anything in here um, it's like anti-griefing technology but you know I don't tell anybody about the location of this and I never really felt like it needed to be protected I don't have anything that you know I really care if people steal just a bunch of ores and, and shit lots of zombie <laughs> lots of zombie flesh and I'll go into that in a second small wheat farm and then the cool part this is my first 3x3 piston door and when you come in here, it, I guess it's not really obvious. At some point, you know, if you're smart, you'll be like, why is this here? What's the point? Um, and you'll, as you'll see, there are buttons with some signs above them. What the signs are is they're, they're kind of supposed to be cryptic in the sense that you can't just press the buttons and open open the door. Um, it's a puzzle. So these are two solutions. One of them doesn't work. Um, this is the one that works, L2, L4, R3. It's pretty simple. So, I mean, you go in here and you're like, oh, I'll throw something in here. Two. See, two, one, two. And this is one, two, three, R3. And this is L4. Oh snap. And it opens. And it is so cool. Um, I got the... Uh, oh. Let me just find out where I got that idea from. Or not the idea, but the piston door uh, is by CNB Minecraft his design on YouTube, look him up and subscribe to him if you like cool things like that. Um, Cause he's, he's actually pretty good. His tutorials are top notch. Even somebody stupid like me could figure it out. Um, and then this is just like, this one works whether there are things inside there or not. So, cause I don't want to get locked in. Um, so this area is something that I'm w currently working on, but I don't think I'll finish it before the server moves to 1.2. Uh, I was inspired by... <coughs> I was inspired by a video I saw by Mr. Chris of C on YouTube. Um, he did a video called the core or something like that and um, I really loved the design it was really dark and there was lava and it went really really deep underground so uh, shout out to him uh, check him out 
I'll put a link in the the DVD do 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 description. Uh, but basically what I wanted to do here was have lava running down the walls or or not like the whole wall just running down and then have a hole here probably the radius of four that went all the way down to bedrock and then have a huge room down at the bedrock with you know glowstone and all sorts of other cool stuff doesn't look like that's going to happen. Ignore those holes up at the top. Um, so that's that. Uh, and this hole here did lead to something, and I'm going to go show it to you. This was my mob grinder. <laughs> and by was, I mean it worked for a very long time but then the spawner disappeared. It was just a zombie spawner, so I didn't get any cool bone meal stuff or anything like that, but um, the way it works is the mobs spawn in their room, of course, and then the water takes them down here. Then it takes them down here. This is a technique I found uh, on YouTube. Also, I'll never find his video. Um, just look for mob grinders. Eventually you'll find it, but uh, he kind of explains how this works. Um, basically the mob comes down here, he drops into that hole, and then the water current will bring him up onto those stairs right there, um, and the sign basically blocks this water flow from going back, so it's pretty nifty. Uh, and then they go up here into this channel Again, I got this idea from that guy, and it, go, it brings them all the way up to like 23 or 24 blocks high, and then they fall down here, and then you can punch them, and you get a lot of XP very quickly, uh, enough that you can make level 50 enchants in probably about an hour and a half. Um, and you can see this diamond pick axe I'm so proud of. Unbreaking 3, Fortune 3, and Efficiency 5. That was the second enchant I ever did. This one was the first one, and the third one was a... I used a level 50 enchant and got Silk Touch. Which was just a little bit disappointing. I guess it's good if you build a lot of stuff out of stone, but I use cobble and... Uh, and other such things for my construction. So anyway, that's where all of my rotten flesh came from. Um, and I guess it doesn't really matter if I use this, but I'll show you my enchant room. It's cleverly hidden in here. And well, that's it. That's the enchant room. Yippee doo da. Anyway, let's go back home. Um, that, that's basically all I have. Like This took me a very long time working on it, a couple hours a night. Um, but the thing is, like, I'm not building up here. I'm, I'm actually building down, and it takes a lot longer to dig out underground and then, like, uh, redo, like, the walls and stuff and all of that it takes a long time and a lot of work and a lot of patience to do that so I'm kind of disappointed that the server might be or the, the world might be reset but what can you do right so I guess what I'll do now I think I still have hard drive space for the recording, but I'll just show you. Oh, hey, look. It's, uh, it's the moon. But when I chose the direction to build my grand hall in, I didn't really think about it. I, it just so happens that it went in this direction, which is so cool um, that I accidentally did that. Now you can see over there, uh, 
I have some neighbors, Daisy Cakes and HQUE. What's up? What's up? What's up? And then in this direction, there's Mr. Leprechaun and, and a couple of other guys building. And in that direction, there's some other things. But I mean, I thought I started this with in an area that nobody had been to. <laughs> that was a stupid, stupid thing. Anyway. So that's about it. Um, hopefully you guys like this. I mean, I built it and designed it all by myself. And it's going to be a shame to see it go if it does go. If not, well, I guess it'll be here for people to stumble upon. And I guess I'll continue working on my core, the core inspired, uh, whatever you want to call it. It was going to be sort of a, a dwarven theme, I guess you could say, but we'll see. Uh, like I said, though, I'll probably quit if they reset the server this time, just because it's like, um, why? Why reset the server unless it's absolutely necessary? I understand if, like, um, if for some reason you absolutely can't get jungle biomes if, unless you start a new world then that would be an issue yeah of course but previously you could get jungle biome or you could get new biomes from new patches if you just explore a little bit but people are like oh well you gotta explore a lot blah blah whatever i just think that like when when does it stop you reset the server on one patch uh, because of a new biome, then why wouldn't you res or reset it on the next patch? And the patch after that, and the patch... It just never stops, right? And why would people want to build on a server knowing that all of their shit's going to go away um, next time a patch comes out? And it's just like, yeah, some people will get over it, but then there are people like me who put a lot of their free time into building something that looks good and you know well it looks good to me but like they're they're putting real effort in and then other people can come in and just build like a little house out of cobble and be satisfied they're the ones who who don't mind when the server gets reset and i don't know if you can see the chat i didn't mean to leave it open but it's just yeah whatever my rant's over uh, if the server does reset, I probably won't come back on it. I'll go back to my private. Well, it's not. I guess it's not a private server. It's owned by my friend, and I would be the only person playing on it, aside from maybe one of my other friends. Anyway, my name's Matt. Uh, you don't have to subscribe to me because I don't upload videos that much. I do live stream, so. Uh, twitch.tv slash cryptology is my channel occasionally I throw up a stream while I'm playing a game and let people watch talk and chat and stuff like that so uh, yeah follow me there twitter is twitter.com or well at fkyx there we go fkyx doesn't mean anything it's just a bunch of letters um, anyway, well, thanks for watching, and hopefully you like my, my BRS, my Bamboo Rape Shrine. See ya! Peace.